Okay. All right. Hello, everyone. My name is Lisa Bader, and I'm going to be teaching this class today. And based on looking around and um, stuff, I want you to kind of guess what kind of what we're going to be talking about today. Oh, no. Um, yeah. Yeah. Any other ideas? No. Okay, so Makeup fails. What <laughs> not to do? Has anyone um, ever dressed up for Halloween, or if you're not a Halloween person, um, you had a favorite movie or character? Michael? You've never dressed up for Halloween? No favorite movies? No? Okay. Well, that's okay. Caleb? Uh, yeah, dressed up for Halloween. Last year. Should I do it? Yes. Oh, okay. Should I do it? 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 So another word, so when you guys talked about, um, Taylor was saying she dressed up as a goddess, right? That could be considered something in either music, in costumes and more whimsical, more of a whimsical sort of a look, which I don't have here. But what theatrical makeup is, is it's special effect makeup. Right now. It is going to take something that you have and it's going to change it. Oh, actually, Daniel, can I get you some scissors here, please? Yeah, so that's okay. So what, I'm, what we're going to do is, um, these are all just some word, wordles that apply to theatrical makeup. What theatrical makeup is, is it's an illusion. We are, it is an illusion of being something different than it is. Whether you are making an old person look young, a young person look old, making someone have three hands, or making them have one hand. Um, the illusion of taking something away or adding something to it. So it applies to characters in Halloween costumes, in movies like Avatar, when you see, if anyone heard of the movie Avatar, when you see different kinds of yeah. horror movies. What we're focusing on today, when we're getting started with our theatrical makeup, is like horror, gore, kind of wounds, that kind of thing. So that's where we're heading with this. And these are some of the mannequin work that some students have done in their final theatrical makeup projects. So when you talk about this one, this is Botox gone back. Right, so you can see they added prosthetics, changed the face with a little bit of gore, kind of went with that sort of a theme. Here, and with we have her, she's got kind of her brain kind of oozing out on the side a little bit. She's got um, a cut off uh, part of her face went missing on the side, which I think is fantastic how they did that 3D effect. And then him, well, he's just got his whole bottom chin chopped off. And his eyeball got poked out with a stick, stuff like that. So they all have stories. And when you're doing theatrical makeup, all these looks that you see are based on doing a bruise. A bruise is the basis of our theatrical makeup. So what we have here is called a bruise wheel. So that's what we're going to be working with first is our bruise wheel. The product that we use is called Ben Nye. Ben Nye is a famous um, special effects makeup artist who lives in Los Angeles, California. He has a whole makeup line that he sells. He has contracts with uh, Cirque du Soleil, Disney, and you'll see his makeup in many horror movies or um, scary movies that we've seen over the years. So, what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna do a demo on um, a bruise, and then you guys are gonna partner up, so there's four of you today, so that works per perfectly, and then you're going to do a bruise on each other, okay? So, what I'm gonna do is I just need um, one of you to be my model. So, Jenna, you're close. Can you be my model for me? Because you can get a bruise on both your hands. I'm going to do the bruise on the hands. If you guys want to slide a little closer, just make sure you can see what I'm doing. And we're going to start, Daniel, you and I, with a little bit of hand sanitizer for sanitation purposes. Okay? So we're going to sanitize our hands and make sure that we're not doing any cross-contamination of any dirt. So, what we do, again, with the bruise wheel is when you're doing it, you start with the darkest purple. So what is a bruise? Does anybody know what a bruise is? Blood. Blood where? Under your skin. It is torn blood vessels under your skin and that's where you get that blue black kind of a look. And when a bruise starts, it comes from an impact zone, an area where it's been hit 
and that's where the damage happens to the blood vessels. So what we're going to do is create an impact zone. So I always, we're just going to do it on the hands. You guys do have an option if you wanted to. You could do your faces or you could do your wrist or your arm, like whatever you want. But I always do the demo on the hand because I find it's the easiest. And remember, it's an illusion. So we're giving, it's going to look really good from far away. But if you really looked close, you could probably pick it apart a little bit. But counterclockwise, does everybody know how to read a clock? Lots of kids don't nowadays, but you guys all do. So counterclockwise is going the opposite direction of what a clock would do. So we're both sanitized. So I'm going to pick my impact zone. So I think Daniel got a little mad one day and he might have like went and punched a wall. So we're going to kind of focus on his knuckle area here. You, anything that's raised is a good place to start. And what you want to do is you want to use your brush lightly, not heavy with the product, really, really light. And we're going to go in around and we're going to create our bruise. Now, one thing about the bruise that we're creating is I don't want it to be a perfect circle. A bruise is not a bullseye, right, hit to hit in the middle. So we want it to be an abnormal shape. We're being really light and feathery with our product. When you, you go to the next one, you're going to rub your brush off really clean. And you're going to go to the next, it's like a light purple color. You're going to add a little bit of product. Make sure you rub your brush off in between so the products don't all blend. And you're going to go about an eighth of an inch. And you're just going to go just outside the purple that you already did. And you're going to work it all the way around. So everywhere where you did 